Yesterday, I uh, said he was planning on auditing, auditing the uh, SUNY Research Foundation. I guess just initially, what, what's your reaction to that? Well, actually, I uh, began uh, my concerns about uh, any audit by calling uh, the comptroller. So my assumption is that he's responding to my request uh, to, to engage him in this process. So I'm very pleased that uh, the right people are uh, taking the lead in these audits and investigations and have pledged my full support. But I did make the inquiry myself. Also, the Inspector General is... Uh... Right. Uh, the same. I very much welcome the collaboration. That's really what I was seeking in the first place when I initially called the Comptroller. Uh, so we plan to be fully cooperative. This is helpful. Do you think it will have any effect on your initiative, the 2020, SUNY 2020? No, I think uh, I'm doing my very best to lead this system into the future and to contribute to the state of New York. That's what the people of New York ought to expect of us, and certainly that's what the governor expects, and that's what we're doing. Do you, I'm sorry, do you have concerns about the SUNY Foundation yourself? Well, I actually uh, have been interested in the role of the Foundation in generating more research dollars since I first decided to come to SUNY. And uh, even before my appointment in 09, I actually had small teams come to give me a, a bird's eye view of some of the initiatives, one of which was the Research Foundation. I am uh, concerned that while we do bring nearly a billion dollars of research money into the state, we can do better and we can outperform ourselves. And so a part of my interest then after coming here and requesting this uh, review a year ago now uh, was to find out how in the operations of the RF and the governance uh, and the leadership that we could do better. So I commissioned this report and uh, actually it came due and now we're working on it and I presented it to the Research Foundation Board and we'll do the same with the SUNY Board tomorrow. So has the foundation grown too big, too unwieldy, too secretive, too, what, what, what do you think? No, I, I think that what we are able to tell from this uh, operations analysis is where we can uh, secure more support for our campuses, uh, be more strategic in getting federal dollars, more collaborative. So uh, I am prepared uh, ultimately to clarify exactly what needs to be done and uh, any organization needs a, a good assessment of how it can be more effective. That was my intent and that's what this report uh, tells me. Do you have concerns about the Research Foundation? Well, I think I've just reiterated that I want uh, SUNY as a whole to be as productive as it possibly can be in generating research dollars for the state of New York. One way a person in my position gets there is to analyze current practice and see how we can do better. And that's what I've done. What's the biggest uh, piece of information that you gleaned from the report that you presented to the Research Foundation and to the SUNY trustees will discuss tomorrow? Well, I think what we're trying to do uh, in the name of good governance is to present information to the RF board and to the SUNY board. As you know, I have not completed that cycle. I intend to do so tomorrow. In fact, moved up a session with the board of trustees from the uh, standing meeting on June 15th and 16th so that I could analyze with them and get their feedback. Uh, when I complete that loop, and that is good governance, I'll be very clear about what I think we uh, have gleaned from the report. Will your presentation to the SUNY trustees be open to the public tomorrow? Uh, parts of our uh, conversation will be an executive session because there are personnel issues uh, being uh, deliberated tomorrow. So the report that you commissioned includes some pers personnel information? And I think I've summarized to you it's about operations, about management, about leadership, about governance. Those were the charges given uh, to the reviewer, and so uh, those, are the char those are the uh, concepts we'll be discussing. And you indicated that SUNY and the Research Foundation will cooperate fully with state investigatory entities that are looking into matters regarding the Research Foundation. Um, John O'Connor is an employee of the State University of New York and is president of the Research Foundation. And according to the Public Integrity Commission, he has not been cooperating fully. Is he in conflict with your wishes? I think the uh, decision uh, for Mr. O'Connor to assume 
uh, Aliyev was that he could devote his attention to his issues. We are devoting our attention to the organizational issues and any interests of the Inspector General and the uh, Comptroller. So I think the, the uh, issues are not unrelated but separate. Our intent is to be fully cooperative as an organization. That's our, that's our support, that's what we've said to these organizations. Uh, Mr. O'Connor's case is for him to speak to. But is he in support? Well, no, as an individual, I, I think I'll take this question as sure. well. As an individual, uh, John O'Connor is represented by independent counsel, and um, we consider him distinct from, uh, as far as his cooperation as an individual, as he's represented by independent counsel, um, it's right. separate from the organization. Isn't the Research Foundation paying for his independent counsel? I, I think you should uh, refer those questions to the Research Foundation. Well, this is the chairwoman of the Research Foundation. Right, right. Yeah, I think you can refer the, the questions, specific questions about the, yes. the, uh, how the uh, legal matters are being determined. I think that those are questions appropriate for the Research well, Foundation. Can you say where the Research Foundation dollars are paying for Mr. O'Connor's Again, I think, I think you can refer those questions to the Research Foundation.